so last week I released my brand new 2022 YouTube studio tour and at the start of that video I made something a little bit different to anything that I've done before and that was to create a sequence with two versions of me. There was one version of it on this side of the screen and another one on this side and it looked just like this and it had me talking to myself even though I was playing two different characters. It was all me obviously, you can tell that because they both look like me. But this is called masking in Final Cut Pro and Premiere, whichever editing software you use and it is actually a lot easier than I first thought it would be. So what I want to do in this video is just do a very quick tutorial on how you can do this and act out two different parts and put them together to have two of you on screen because as I mentioned it is a hell of a lot easier than I first thought it was. It really is very easy. See even he says it is. Let's get into it. Now very quickly, just before we go any further, if you are new here to this channel, my name is Scott Edwards. I make all sorts of videography, videography tutorials and tech related videos. So if they are the sorts of things you are interested in, consider clicking that little subscribe button that's just down below there and come and be a part of this community, which is growing very quickly at the moment, which is hugely exciting. So let's jump straight into Final Cut Pro. And as you can see, I have already imported a video clip. And in this clip is it's me sat on two different chairs, both in the same video clip. However, I switch over to two different chairs. And what I wanna do is just get both of me on the screen at the same time. Now, the main thing you wanna do, and this is probably the most important part when you are doing something like this, is you want to keep all of the lighting exactly the same because that makes any corrections in Final Cut Pro a little bit easier. And also the most essential part is you want to keep your camera in the exact same spot. And that is something we'll come to when we start editing. So the first thing I want to do is I want to separate this into two separate clips. So I'm just going to cut down the middle when I switch chairs, which is around about here. So I'm just going to cut it there. And then I'm going to drag this one on top of the other one. We can just get rid of the end there. We don't need that. So here you can see I'm sat on this side. And if we get rid of this top clip, you can see I'm sat on that side. When I finally learned how to do this, it really did amaze me how easy it is. Now that's not to say every time you do it, it will be easy because you can go really in depth with some things and do some really creative masking techniques. And for example, if you want to be talking to your own character as well, you're gonna, I will talk about that in a second, but you're gonna have to sync those two clips up. With this clip, it's literally just me sat on a chair on either side of the room, just so I can prove to you how easy it actually is. So all we're gonna do is go down to the effects tab here and type in mask and we're gonna go on to draw mask and drag that onto the top clip. Now I'm gonna go up to the uh, size of the display and I'm gonna go to around about 25%. And because in this clip, I am just sat directly on each half of the screen, it's a nice simple edit. So all I want to do is I'm gonna separate it straight down the middle. So I'm gonna click down there at a point there, at a point at the bottom, and we'll just go all the way around the outside and complete the square. Straight away, there is two of me on screen. And if we click play, that's it. That is as easy as it is to mask yourself in Final Cut and create two of you. It is so, so easy. Now you aren't always just gonna be cutting it straight down the middle. Sometimes you might have things you need to draw around. So if you need to, you can add in extra points and you can drag them around. So if I needed to go around this uh, charging wall, for example, I can do that. I can just put points exactly where I need them so you can hide out anything that you need to in your clip. And if you make sure you keep your camera in the exact same spot and you have the same lighting set up and you don't move anything around, you will be able to get that effect straight away as soon as you put those cuts down the middle. The thing you need to be aware of is where that cut down the middle of that clip is. Because if you start to move your arm, for example, and it goes over that line, if I move my arm across, 
obviously it's going to disappear behind because that clip isn't being shown. You're cut, you've cut off the edge of that clip effectively. So you just need to be aware of where you are going to draw that line when you are filming it. So a good practice to get into is when you are filming both of the parts, you want to be aware of where you are going to be drawing the line. Now what you can do is if you have moving parts in both of your video clips, for example, and you want to try and track something around, say you wanted to track my arm moving over here, obviously you wouldn't because I'm sat in front of the arm, but you can add in different keyframes for each of your different control points. So the control points are these circles. So if we wanted to start there, for example, we could just click this little keyframe button and then skip along to the next frame and move the control points to exactly where we want them. And each time you do that, it is adding a new keyframe. So obviously you would spend more time on this and go really in detail. I'm just showing you exactly how easy it really is to be able to do this. And then if we just scrub through, you can see that the keyframes are actually changing because of where we have set the key points to be at that frame. So that is exactly how easy it is to clone yourself and create a masking effect inside Final Cut Pro. Obviously this is a very quick tutorial. You can go as much in depth with it as you want to, get as creative as you want to. You can have two different talking parts. Just make sure that you sync those up very well together because it, it, it can be quite difficult. The best thing to do, and this is something that I did when I did it in my studio tour, video is I recorded myself into a phone and I put an earphone in one ear. You can actually see it in a little bit of mine if you go back and watch it. And you listen back to yourself so you actually have a conversation with yourself in real time because you can hear what you're saying to yourself. If that makes sense, I hope it does. Just go and have fun with this masking effect in Final Cut Pro because it is incredibly easy. If you use any other video editing software as well, you can do it in Premiere, DaVinci, it's just great fun. Just go and be creative and enjoy it. Enjoy making videos because that's what it is all about. So hopefully that helps you out if you're looking at doing something very similar in your videos. That is it for this video. If you like what you see, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click that little subscribe button. And I shall see you all very soon in the next one. Can you see that? Hopefully not. Get rid of some of the echo. Hopefully this helps. Fact. Oh, it's chaos. Things you do to make videos. There we go. Oh, flipping it.